first thing we're going to do is explain the interface. When you open Inkari for the first time, you will see a screen like this. The main view here in the centre is called the scene view. This is where all of our content will be displayed. By default, the scene is shown in 3D view mode. If you're familiar with 3D coordinate systems, then this will probably look familiar. In Inkari, we have the x-axis going horizontally from the centre to the right. The y-axis is vertical going from the centre and pointing upwards. The z-axis is the depth and points towards the camera. You'll also notice a grid here, which is our ground plane. Each of these squares represents 100 units. This can be turned on and off by pressing the grid icon. This square represents the screen space of the display which we defined earlier. Anything within this boundary will be visible. To navigate in 3D space we use left click and drag to rotate the view, middle click and drag to pan, and right click and drag to zoom. You can also use the scroll wheel. Because we will only be working with 2D assets for this introduction, we will switch to the 2D view by clicking the 2D button above the scene view. Again, you can see that this square represents the bounds of our screen. Navigation in the 2D view is the same, apart from the fact that there is no rotation. So once again, that's middle click and drag to pan, and right click and drag to zoom. At the peripheral parts of the interface, you will see quite a few of these panels, each with different labels. These are all different modules of Inkari. For now, we will only be using the two outliners, Scene Outliner and Project Outliner, as well as the Attribute Editor and Asset Manager. Later on, we are going to be using the Console module. I will explain its function in another video, but for now we can activate this module by going to View, Console. Modules can also be added and removed by right-clicking the topmost toolbar and turning them on or off. We can also close modules by clicking the X in the top right-hand corner of the panel. We can resize modules by clicking and dragging the edge. And we can move them by clicking the Windows title bar and dragging it around. They can then be docked or stacked into tabs. They can also be separated entirely from the main interface as floating windows. This is especially useful for multi-monitor setups. So that was a basic introduction to navigation and modules in Inkari. In the next video, we will be looking at how to import and work with assets, as well as introducing objects, attributes and transformations. <laughs>